you're probably already using something like design tokens in your work. Let's take this simple card design as an example. It is deceptively detailed. Each of the design decisions I've made for this card are intentional, down to the smallest features, starting with the corner radius on the rounded rectangles. I've used 10 as the radius value twice, and for the corners on the image, I've used half of 10, five. For the spacing in the card, the padding and the gaps, I've used 15, 10, five again, repeating the same vertical rhythm of the spacing through the design. And I've used multiples of five to help separate and group the design elements. The colours are intentional decisions too. I've checked the contrast between the backgrounds and the text to make sure they're accessible. And then I've used the same colour for the button text and the button icon. And all of these small design decisions could be stored as design tokens. You might have stored colors in a color palette before or saved a number as a variable so you can reuse them over and over again in your design. A design token is just a value with a name. So let's start with a color as I've already included the names for them here. And this is the turquoise gray I've used for the title text. Gray is the dominant color, turquoise is the tint color. I suppose you could call it green gray, but I went to art school so I have to be pretentious. And this text color can also be a design token. And the hex color code is its value and the turquoise gray is its name. And we can do the same for the other colors across our design. We can save them for reuse. And when it comes to the tokens with number values, we can rename them a little differently. We have two different values for our radius tokens, a big value 10 and a small value five. And so I'll name them just like that, radius big and radius small. And one of the benefits of tokens is reusing those same values over and over again. So we can use the same radius big 10 for both the card corner radius and the button corner radius. And we can do the same with the tokens for spacing. So with repeated values for five, 10 and 15, we have small, medium and large spacing. And together that becomes a neat set of tokens that we can use to express our design. We even added documentation by adding names to these tokens. And this makes it easy to communicate the specific color and radius and spacing values with the rest of our team without having to read out hex color codes. And this includes both designers and developers. So how do we add these tokens in Pempot? Well, let's jump straight in. We're already in Pempot, but I'm going to jump over to the design. So here is our design. And by default, we add our tokens from the tokens tab here. And they will be added to the global set. This is just the default set. And we're going to add a new color token. And I'm going to add the color for that turquoise gray text. So I'm going to call it turquoise gray. And I'm going to give it a value of 3F5252. So that's our hex code there. You can see it's the right color from that little swatch. And then I'm going to press save. And then I can select the text I want to apply that token to and I'm going to right click on the token and choose and because it's a color type token I can apply that color to either the fill or to the stroke and I'm going to apply that to the fill and you can see here that because this token is applied to the selected layer it's highlighted in the tokens panel here you can see I've also added the existing tokens that I mentioned previously for our radiuses and for our spacing as well. Now, a quick little word on the dots in these tokens. Design tokens in Pempot use the design tokens draft standard. Basically, this is an existing format for design tokens that isn't tied to any one platform. And Pempot's design tokens integration was built with the experts from Token Studio. So this means that design tokens in Pempot work anywhere else that supports design tokens. And one of the conventions in title case, proper noun, design tokens, 
is using dots for the hierarchy in your design token names. So spacing dot large, that's a large token inside the spacing set. And radius dot small, that's a small token inside the radius set. You're not tied to using token type names or anything like that. You can use any names that you like. Naming is really important because it provides documentation for your team. So you'll want to really decide what works best for your team. For example, my color names could have a lot more readable names. And I probably want different shades of gray and different shades of turquoise. And I've used big in my radius tokens, but I've used large in my spacing token. That's not going to be particularly helpful or consistent for my team, so I probably want to rename one of those. Anyway, what if I want to now update my design? So I can easily change one token value and it will be updated everywhere that I've applied that token. So maybe I want my car to have a bit more breathing space. So I'm going to update this spacing large token. I'm going to right click and edit it. And I'm going to change it to, instead of 15, 30 as its value. And instantly that updates the whole of my design to be a lot more roomy, give it a lot more space to breathe. Now I've shown you color and spacing and border radius tokens, but you can also add dimension tokens. And this is a really powerful token that can be applied to near enough any number value. So that's positioning, height, width, paddings, margins, radiuses as well. This is perfect if you need values that are consistent across the whole of your design and all of those different types of tokens. We have opacity tokens, and that's for saving the opacity of your layers. We have rotation tokens here, and that's for the angle of your objects. Sizing tokens, so that's for your widths and your heights, including minimum and maximum widths and heights. Think about break points and things like that. And the stroke width, which is for the thickness of your borders and your lines. So there's a whole lot to get started with there. And you know, you can create design tokens for free with Pempot and sign up for Pempot at Pempot.com.